Okay, now we're going to focus on finding images and inserting them in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my web browser. I'm going to go to search creativecommons.org. This is one place I like to go to find images because I can find things that I can modify and adapt with copyright issues, especially if it's nonprofit, and not worry about it. If you're going to do something for a for-profit company, you'll want to... Um, look more into actually purchasing your images. In this case, I'm just going to go to Flickr. Flowers is good, but let's go for mountains. Okay. So I'm going to find a good mountain site. Um, scroll down. Actually, let's just get click on this. So I'm going to click on all sizes. The large, that's good. I'm going to actually save that. And I'm going to actually save it in my folder that my website I'm working on in the images folder. And now I'm going to open that just so I know where it's at. It's actually a horrible name, so I would definitely want to change that. But now that I'm in Firefox, Fireworks that is, I always like to do that with those two. I'm going to change that to make it smaller so I can see. I'm going to use the crop tool, and I'm going to crop. And so I can see down here as I'm doing this I can look down here and see the height so I want to do something that's about the width of my page but eh, we'll say 200 is probably about right for a course banner I can then go and add text as I see fit I can't see this so I'm going to actually zoom in and I'm going to highlight it Change the color. Obviously, this isn't the best color in the world, but you'll get the idea. And you could do lots of other things to play with this and make it look fancier. In this case, I'm going to look at my filters and we'll find a shadow or a glow we'll do glows alright so then I'm going to save this I'm just going to call it banner I'm going to go back to my folder and save it. Then if I'm in Dreamweaver I put my cursor wherever I want to insert the image. I go to insert image and I go in here and click on banner. I can see it over here and depending on whether you're doing relative to document or site route you can play with that but I'm going to hit OK. And You always want to put the course all the alternative text. It's always a it's not a bad idea at all, so a long description, but definitely alternative text. So just like that. Save this. And we play down here too and zoom out a little, see what it looks like. It, you know, the image doesn't look great, but I'm not worried about that right now. Um, that looks nice. If I go to split view, I can see the source. It's looking in the images folder to that. That looks exactly right. And now I'm going to preview it. And that looks good. So that's basically how you add an image into your web page. The same way I could add other images just to show the point. Let's say
I found another image I wanted. Click on all sizes. I'm going to click square. I'm going to right click and I'm going to save this down into my images folder. And once again, it's it's a good idea to name those something better, more meaningful. But I'm going to click in here. I'm going to go to insert. Click on it and I can see which one it is. This is where you'd probably want to change the name. This isn't a good alternative text, but I'm just showing you the idea. So now if I click on this, I can add a border if I wanted to. That's a huge border, but I'm going to click on it again. I'm going to have it default to the right. And I'm going to save and preview. So just like that, you can see what it's like to add images to your web page.